What is going on guys? Today I'm gonna to show you how to play with the double aqua team. Now in this video, we are going against a bird. Look at this bad boy here. A beast, energy generation through the moon. A little faster because they have lamb on the mouth. Still has high morale. And we got a typical plant. 61 health or 516, that's maximum health. Low speed, so their cactus and vegetable are very effective. And the spicy hot butt. Uh, we got a very atypical team here. So the Sweet Party Aqua in the back line, very menacing. We have the very slow. Um, this is another different Aqua, you know, very menacing himself. And then we have my guy here, the plant. What an absolute beauty. So typically Sweet Party's gonna be in, Sweet Party teams can have them in two different ways. Um, this way here, it makes it so your sweet party heals yourself. You can also try it where this guy is also at the top here. That wouldn't be too bad where both your aquas are at the top but this guy's in the middle. That way your sweet party can heal this guy here. It all depends on what type of gameplay you're seeing. But this is Jamie, our newest scholar, and they do have the advantage. Double aquas typically have the advantage against the beast birds. Let's see what she does first. So first round here, she only plays one tail slap. Now typically, and this is for you know all newer players in the game uh, you definitely want to combo your tail slap card here because when you combo it you're able to generate energy just playing it by itself you don't use any energy also when you play against someone with vegetable you don't want to necessarily leave one energy left most of the times most of the times you want to at least use two and these two cards here are interesting so this card makes it so the opponent can't go in last stand this card here actually increases your attack damage when you're attacking shields. So in this situation, you actually want to play your dull grip first. That way you'll be able to do way more damage against your shield here. So Jamie plays those two. This opponent increases their energy with tails of con swab. And then now they're doing massive damage here. So she has three energy. What she probably wants to do here is go to dull grip nile strike maybe something like that one dull grip's fine also passing here is also fine too i don't mind a complete pass here now she has four energy now this person's in trouble um i'm ah it's tough because this guy doesn't have the attacking damage this guy can go back door let's see what happens here um, Herman says, you didn't pray to Jiho? Oh my god, Jiho. Jiho prayers is the only way you're winning season 19, season 20, honestly. <laughs> James says, I don't know how to play yet. Oh yeah, Jamie, don't worry, we've all been here. And that's why these videos are great, because they, they help you go through and like learn the moves. Um, so right here again, the single tail slap. Definitely need to combo them. Um, also, you can see it doesn't do much damage. It doesn't have any shield, so not too effective of a move here. And then we have the Nile Strike here. So this guy here is able to just keep a lot of shield. Typically with midliners, and they're able to steal your energy here. Typically with midliners here, you'll wanna just burst through them as fast as possible. Uh, you can do that by not attacking round one and having five energy round two. But now Jamie's in a very tough circumstance. So this person's gonna go back door here. And unfortunately, it's probably night night <laughs> for this guy here. And just unable to get rid of the plant. So you definitely wanna combo your cards together. That way you're able to do a lot more damage. I think one of the things that gets a lot of new people is they see 97 damage here, right? So they go for a card that does at least 97. The one thing is that these cards also have defensive attributes, right? So because of that, when they put the shield, you actually aren't able to kill them. Which again, going from adventure mode, not a lot of people use shield in those first rounds. So it kind of takes a lot of people off guard when they first play this game. All right, so in that round, what just happened is essentially like took a gamble there using the plant cards. 
Again, Jamie's in a really rough spot here because, you know, definitely not at the advantage. Um, didn't have the outplays she needed early on. And now let's see if she can pull this out. Now the good news... <laughs> the good news is you're able to get rid of him with two shots. What you probably wanted to do there in the last round is your go to first. This go to card here destroys one of your opponent's energies. It wouldn't have helped because your opponent literally has 70 billion energy here, but it is a good practice in the next round. Um, if you are in a situation where you need to get rid of someone's energy. So definitely a tough game. And from games like this, a lot of learning lessons, especially as you learn your cards, you'll know how to do the outplays, what you need there to win. Um, but again, I think this has really helped beginners play the game because they can see a lot of the common mistakes that a lot of other beginners make. So guys, if you like these videos where I go over beginner gameplay, I know a lot of you guys are starting out Axie Infinity. Let me know and then I can put out more of those games out there as well. It's been your boy Fly Stewie, we Fly Crew. We'll see you next time.